My name is Chidozi Okafo and my son's name is Chinaza David Okafo. He's six years old and um, he attends um, Patrick's Speech and Language Centre. He was diagnosed of autism at the age of two. Some people see, take it that um, your child is possessed. Some, some would say um, only God knows where they went to. Before, because I, I and my wife, we had the challenge of um, giving birth. I got married like 13 years ago, and um, my son came um, six, seven years ago. He came in 2012. So we waited for seven years for the child to come. You know, so of course you know the challenges that is involved. You know, family pressures here and there, and then the child now, now came and. Um, all of a sudden, we now saw that he's, he has autism. So people were not, a lot of people were hearing people were, who knows where they went to before the child, you know. Maybe they must have gone somewhere and they gave them an Obanji child and stuff like that, you know. So those are the kind of things you, you would um, you would be hearing. People would advise you, give you negative advice, you know, that um, are you sure you can cope with all this? Why don't you go and... Um, why don't you go and kill this child and um, try and see if you can have another child? Or why don't you why don't you quit the marriage? Do you understand? So they will tell my wife got such advices. I also got such advices too. Do you understand what I'm saying? So people will advise you, friends and um, even family members. Then they would also desert you. They would also, you know, make you be alone. Nobody will want to associate with you. They will leave you to, to handle your problems, especially when you are struggling financially. Before now, I don't, I'm, I'm a very, very determined person, you know, so, but since I realized that I have a son living with autism, you know, Sometimes I just talk to my friends and my friends will be like, we know you for who you are. You are, you are a very strong man. We know that you can overcome this. I will tell them that, man, this thing is, is making me, I don't know how I'm going to cope with this. It's almost wearing my determination away. But the only thing I, I, I just tell myself that um, I believe so much in God. You know, so and I have the, the faith that one day this boy is going to, you know, become like a normal person too. You know, so I just believe God that everything will be fine. But if, if, if to tell you the truth, it's it's um, it's very very tasking, and I wouldn't wish that for my enemy. It's very very difficult to take care of um, a child that is um, autistic. You know, so and um, it's 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 um, it's it's um, uh, in terms of finance because of the fact that you want to you want them to be independent. You know, you just have to be patient to ensure that um, they learn those things that you want to teach them. Sometimes it's too heavy on me, and I just have to talk to myself to allow it go. You know, but. Um, we have been able to manage. We, we just tell ourselves that we are in this ship together and we just have to make this thing work.